It's Saturday morning and you know what that means. It's time to get your coffee ready, sit back and relax as we count them down. Because this is your hot top 10 selling cards this week and there is some crazy sales going on in the secondary market. Pre-release sales are in for Commander Legends Battle for Baldur's Gate and the players are going crazy. Let's check it out. Whenever a new set drops, I always have a card or two that I just can't wait to get my hands on and I feel like I have to buy them right away. I just can't wait. Welcome back everyone. MTG Moxman here. Thanks for hanging out with me on the channel today as we go over the hottest selling cards this week in Magic. It's crazy from May 27th to June 3rd. Now, Commander Legends Battle for Baldur's Gate, this is like the pre-release weekend. I'm probably at a pre-release right now because this was recorded first thing, right? So I'm out there having a good time at this point. At least I hope I am. It's my first time doing a Commander type style thing like this. I'm probably getting slaughtered. We'll talk about it on the live stream. That's on Sundays, 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. You guys know the time. And if you're new to the channel, hey, come aboard and have some fun with us. Every week I do it. And I look at this now and I go, wow, there's been some crazy sales going on. Stuff that I never expected to come back onto the top 10 is totally there right now. So I can't wait to dive into this with you and let you see what's going on out there. So let's go ahead, take a look at some amazing magic cards that have made the hot top 10 this week. It's coming up next. Coming in at number 10 this week is Swords to Plowshares Adventures in Forgotten Realms. It has 381 sales this week. The average price is $2.07 US. The market price is $1.83 US. One euro 91 cents to get this card into your house. It's around $4 Canadian to buy the card here in Canada. I've always enjoyed this particular artwork. I think it looks really classy, stylish looking. I would love to get my hands on like a beta or an alpha version though one day just to add to one of my old school legacy decks. But for now, I can always enjoy looking at this artwork. Way to go, Source of Plowshares. All right, number nine this week is Red Elemental Blast 4th Edition with 397 sales from the 27th of May to June 3rd, 2022. The average price is $1.29 US. The market price is $1.18 US. One euro, 66 cents to get this card in your house. You know, unlimited edition versions of this card are still so affordable. I would recommend just spending a few extra bucks and picking those up. Yeah, it'll cost you more, but there's just that whole style factor attracted to cards like this that you just, it can't be denied. Way to go. Another surprising card I didn't expect to see on the list this week. Now, number eight. Deadly Dispute, which used to be on the list all the time with D&D because this card has been crazy, but look at the price plummeting down for this particular card. The average price has dropped from around the $5, $6 mark all the way down to $3.06 US. The market price is $2.11 US and it's $5 for the foil, okay? Three euros, 65 cents to get this card in your house, still five bucks Canadian. But if you remember some of my earlier videos about six months back, I said they will reprint this as fast as possible because they don't like having commons being worth this kind of money. Now the good news is, is it's in Commander Legends Battle for Baldur's Gate. It still won't get opened as much as people think. There's, it's a huge set. So this drop in the market is a great time for a few of you guys out there to go ahead and grab a couple of extra copies. I expect this card to rebound about 90 days from now and go back up because the amount you're going to get inside Commander Legends is not what it's going to be like in Dungeons and Dragons AFR where it, you know every I think I got two or three a box every box keep this stuff in mind because this card in my opinion is going to rebound now number seven this week is another returning card and that is farewell from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty this card has an average price of $5.99 US. The market price is $5.90 US, a foil six bucks, which is ridiculous. And it's four euros, 61 cent to get this card into your house, seven bucks Canadian, but 561 sales is nothing to sniffle at guys. It's a great comeback for this card. It shows the durability and popularity. It doesn't touch people's planeswalkers. It lets you pick and choose your targets based on the type of deck you build. This thing has a future. I've always said it. It's going to be a $10 card. All right, next coming up is going to be an offer that you can't refuse. Streets of New Capenna. Now, this card is slowly drifting down a bit, but the sales are starting to accelerate again. 
690 sales this week. The average price though is only $1.61 US. The market, $1.01 US. The foil, $3.28 US. I love that disparity by the way. Less than one euro to get this card and it's around two bucks here in Canada. Remembering what this card can do, think about the amazingness of having treasure tokens now and picture a year from now. When you're looking at a card like this, understand that Streets of New Capenna will slowly drop to the backdrop and we won't get nearly as many openings. And there weren't that many open that I saw in the boxes I've opened. I expect this card to actually start climbing about five months from now. It's gonna slowly start ticking up a little bit. It has a lot of versatility into other formats and people are really gonna enjoy having this card around. So keep this card in mind because I just think the value is going to be there and people don't recognize it. So I'm, I'm going to buy a couple of play sets just to hang on to in case it spikes up. It might be some good trading in card value, right? So number five this week, Academy Manufacturer and that's Modern Horizons 2. Now this is a three casting cost, one three creature. He's an assembly worker. He's happy to be on the assembly line. And it says, if you would create a clue, food, or treasure token, instead, create one of each. You can see now why this card is starting to rise up. But he's out of the blue on my top 10 this week, guys. From nowhere to number 5, that's a lot. 719 sales, that's quite a bit. And then when you see here, the average price is just shooting up and leveling off now. All right, guys, $7.99 is the average. The market is $7.52 US. The foil is a surprising $15.90 US. It must be a harder foil to get. I like that difference in value. And it's €3.70 to get this card to your house. About 10 bucks here in Canada. A very good card that a lot of people will enjoy, I am sure. Number four is Felwar Stone Adventures in Forgotten Realms. Now, it's only $2.05 US. The market price is $1.89 US, 1 euro 49 cents to get this card in your house. I would still say if you can afford it, go back and get the dark version, the original OG. Get a near mint one for 30 bucks and call it a day. You'll never regret it. It is great to see this card being so cheap and affordable, but I just think you got to have some pizzazz in your commander deck and I'm going to go with the OG each and every time. But hey, I'm wrong because 803 sales is a lot. Now the number three card, that's right, push down from number one from the last two weeks in a row, we have Ledger Shredder and we all know why. The price is going up. He is becoming very expensive. This card started out being like a couple of bucks, remember? No one cared. And as soon as you find a card, it happens every set. Some cards go up, some cards go down. This is one of those cards that has found a home, found it fast, and he's ready to rip into you. He's ready to shred you, there you go. 1,026 sales this week is still a lot considering his price point. That's not cheap. That means, you know, it's like what, $26,000 in sales? That's crazy for this kind of card. Um, all right, but hey, average price $26.63 US. The market is $24.93 US. A foil is 42 bucks. Um, for those who remember, I actually have a foil somewhere that I got inside my pre-release kit. So that's kind of crazy. I got to find that and trade it in. And eight euro 48 cents to get this card in your house locally. They're sold out. I didn't find any. So, I mean, that's just the way it goes right now with a card that's this hot. That's what people are seeing. But that means we have a new number one card because this was number three. So let's go ahead and take a look at the number two card this week. And that is Soul Ring. That's right. Adventures in Forgotten Realms with 1,284 sales swinging in at number two this week. Again, very affordable, but it's like an auto include. Almost makes you want a card like this to be banned because it's in every single deck I've seen. The average price is $1.64 US. The market price is $1.31 US. Less than one euro to get this card to your house, $2.50 here in Canada. But I guess the only difference will be is the different versions. There's different artwork. You can get some real style versions like the Kaladesh Inventions one. We can get some pretty awesome looking soul rings in there. Alpha, Beta, Ununlimited, Collector Edition. Even some of the alternate art versions are so gorgeous, guys. Yeah, I can understand. Everyone's got to bling out with a soul ring. I totally get it. And that's why this card is coming in this week at number two. But that means we've made it to the end. We've gone from number 10. We brought it all the way down to number one. And you're curious, what is number one? I never saw this coming, but I should have because it pushed down the shredder ledger. Ledger shredder backwards. You know how it goes. It's a Saturday morning here. 
let me bang the microphone for you just to say I did it with style. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the number one card, and that is Ancient Copper Dragon Borderless from Commander Legends Battle for Baldur's Gate. People have decided that this is the card. The pre-release sales are sold out locally. It's been a hot seller on a whole bunch of the websites I've checked in with and the stores I'm checking in with to get a grand total of 1,591 sales. Guys, that is a phenomenal amount of money to spend on a pre-release card. So I hope that this card does not tank. Because if I add up the price right now, you're looking at around $63,000 US was spent buying all these copies of Ancient Copper Dragon. Now, of course, they're being bought by a multitude of people. Don't get me wrong. But I just don't see this card holding that value long term. I think it's going to sink to about half that. But that's just me. If I'm wrong, no problem. At least I'm going to have my box to open I probably this weekend or next weekend and I'll get to enjoy it. So when we look at this card and you look at all those sales, this is what people wanted. They said this is the one. And they purchased it. Pre-release sales are up across the board. Okay, Everywhere they're up across the board. So when I'm looking at all the Commander Legends Battle for Baldur's Gate, the single sales are phenomenal. All kinds of cards, like Elminster, they're all sold out. Players can get back into their LGSs. They're eager to get back in there and play. Which means things like Arena are kind of falling off to the side a little bit, as players want to die back in and play physical games against real opponents who can make different moves. I love it, guys. I think this is going to be fantastic. The set's going to be awesome to play with. I can't wait to mix it with just a regular Adventures in Forgotten Realms set and mash those two bad boys together. And the Commander decks for this set look really good as well, so I can't wait. I'm probably going to purchase all four. Is it four? I think it's four. I'm going to buy them all anyway. I, like, I think I'm going to like having a set of them. So this has been your Hot 10 this week. Hot Top 10 this week. Sorry, I can't speak. It's Saturday morning. But, you know, it's Dungeon Dragons. I figured the Copper Dragon kind of fits well with the shirt. And I can't wait to get out there and play. I hope you guys are going to have a great weekend. Uh, tomorrow is Sunday, and that's the Reserve List Hot Top 10. Can't wait to see you guys there. Leave some comments in the comments section if you're new to the channel. Thanks for being a brave champion and sticking out to the end. You're close to being one of the special people. But you got to watch after the credits every time to be a real special person. That's just the way the game is played. Guys, thanks a lot for hanging out with me today. Have an awesome day today, wherever you are in the world of magic. Maybe you're hitting a pre-release too. And of course, a fantastic shout out goes out to each and every one of the fantastic patrons on my channel. I hope you guys are having an awesome weekend playing some magic games. I'll see you guys on the live stream. How about a little Gloomstalker action going into the 10K box for all you special people. The ones who hang around to meet that 10K goal one day to see what happens when we count it down. Because it's going to be a good time for the people on my Patreon. That's all I can tell you. We are going to have some fun. So everyone out there, have a fantastic day. I know you already heard this before. I'm just kidding. See, I didn't even freeze. I just went like this. I used to practice that on my front porch, staying still that long and scaring people at Halloween, looking like a statue. I had a good time. I recorded some of them. It was very funny. All right, guys, have an awesome day, man. I'll see you guys soon.